The popular myth is that somebody was walking along the road in Belgium, there was a ditch on the side of the road, they rolled the cheese wheel down there and it went up and down and they said, well that's cool, let's make a game out of it. Hi, my name is Michael John, I'm the president of the Cadu Feather Bowling Club. Yeah, I'm Ron DeVos, I'm one of the owners of the Cadu Cafe. Uh, it's been in my family since 1962. Feather bowling was going on back then too. It's a sport they brought over from Belgium. Uh, some of the, this used to be a Belgian community here in Detroit. They used to originally play it, from what we understand, with like wheels of cheese in a barn. We are the only ones that call it feather bowl. It, 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 it's a very obscure sport. It's a very old kind of thing. So I think the feather is exclusive to here. Somebody said we need to mark where they're trying to throw the ball to. And they stuck a feather in the ground and said, Call a macaroni. <laughs> the way the game's played is one team bowls all six balls. They usually try to bowl three or four and by the feather and then lay a couple blocks. The other team then comes in with their six balls and they have the option of shooting out other balls or bowling up and down and around to get to the feather. Whoever gets their balls closest to the feather scores. The game itself is a lot more intricate than it seems. It's, it, it, it's truly a sport. It's not just some old lawn game that people play. They call it uh, a trabo spell in Belgium. It means a uh, trough bowling game. It's kind of an underground thing over there. It's almost bigger here than it is over there.